Hi, welcome to Knowledge Catch. In today's episode, we'll break down the OSI model, an easy way to understand how data travels through networks. But before we start, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights. The OSI model, or Open Systems Interconnection, is made up of seven layers. Each layer handles a specific part of transferring data between devices. Think of it like a team, where each player has a specific role. Let's go through the layers and see how they work together. First, the physical layer. This layer is all about hardware, cables, routers, and Wi-Fi signals. It handles the actual transmission of data, whether through wires or wirelessly. Without this layer, data can't move between devices. Next, the data link layer. It makes sure data moves smoothly between devices on the same network, like making sure the data is packaged properly and gets to the next stop without errors. The network layer works like a GPS. It assigns an IP address to the data and determines the best route through the network, making sure it reaches the right destination. The transport layer is like the delivery truck. It ensures that all the pieces of the data arrive in the right order and reassembles them correctly. If any piece is missing, it sends it again. Then we have the session layer, which keeps the connection open between devices. It sets up, manages, and closes the connection once the communication is finished. The presentation layer translates data into a format both devices understand, and it also encrypts data for security like converting and locking your message before it's sent. Finally, the application layer is the one you directly interact with. It's where you access websites, email, or messaging apps, and where the data becomes useful to you. Let's see this in action by sending a photo to a friend. First, at the physical layer, your phone connects to Wi-Fi to start the transmission. The data link layer prepares the photo for sending, and checks for errors. The network layer assigns your friend's IP address to the photo, so it knows where to go. The transport layer splits the photo into smaller packets and makes sure they all arrive. The session layer keeps the connection open while the photo is sent. The presentation layer compresses the photo for quicker delivery and ensures it's safe. Finally. At the application layer, your friend receives and opens the photo in their messaging app. So, why is the OSI model important? It's incredibly useful for troubleshooting when something goes wrong. Let's say your photo doesn't send. You can check each layer to find where the issue is. Is your Wi-Fi working? That's the physical layer. Is your phone connected to the network? That's the data link layer. Is the IP address correct? That's the network layer. By following the OSI model, you can quickly diagnose and fix problems step by step. And that's the OSI model. Each layer plays a crucial role in ensuring data moves smoothly and securely from one device to another. Next time something goes wrong with your network, remember how these layers work together to get the job done. Thanks for watching Knowledge Catch. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more quick tech lessons. See you in the next episode.